Hello, I am Father Michael Bollish, and I serve as the Director for the Office of Worship and Vicar for Clergy in the Diocese of Youngstown. In just a few short hours, our parishioners will gather with Christians around the world to begin the Liturgy of Holy Week, known as the Triduum. Literally, that word means three days, and it is the culmination of our season of Lent and the beginning of our celebration of Easter. It's one liturgy that lasts for three days. It begins with the sign of the cross on Thursday night, and the next time we will say the Mass is ended won't be until Saturday night at the Easter Vigil. What's unique about this liturgy is that it contains different rituals and actions that we only celebrate once a year. Holy Thursday recalls the institution of the Eucharist, and the washing of the feet ritual reminds us of our challenge to be servants to one another just as Christ served us. On Friday, we recall the passion of the cross and the suffering of Jesus on the cross, and we're reminded of our sufferings, and we too, how we must endure in order to rise with Christ in eternal life. Saturday, the Easter Vigil celebrates the resurrection of the Lord. It's the first Mass of Easter. And also in this liturgy, we welcome and initiate our catechumens and candidates. A catechumen is a person who will be initiated in the church by receiving the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. A candidate is someone who's already been baptized but has a desire to join the Catholic Church and will receive the sacraments of confirmation and Eucharist. That liturgy on Saturday culminates the three-day liturgy that began on Thursday with the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and our Easter season begins. Interesting to note, Lent is 40 days long, Easter, the season, is 50 days long because of the importance of what we recall and remember during this time of new life. And so as we enter into this Triduum Liturgy this tonight, let us remember all that the Lord has done for us. And as we celebrate Easter, may we do so with great joy and thanksgiving as we remember and recall the resurrection of the Lord.